this is Kevin from Pork Pie Hatters. Today we're going to tighten up a hat. Uh, a hat that's too big. It's very common to be between the sizes in a hat. Um, for instance, uh, you know, this is the hat that a uh, person wants, and uh, the size is a size 60. Um, you put it on, it's a little too big. You go down to a 59. The 59 is just too tight. So, tighten the hat up. Um, essentially, what you need to do is you got to get yourself um, some of this stuff. Uh, what it is, it's uh, weather stripping. Um, you get it at the hardware store. There's different types. They come in little spiral rolls about that big or so. Uh, maybe five bucks, depending on the width. You know, there's different types. Um, this is the, the white foam stuff. It, it just basically looks like regular foam and it's white. Um, I found that um, there are different types. The stronger ones that are more like a gray, rubbery type of foam are just too strong and they're very, very hard to get out. If you ever want to remove it, they just, you know, pick apart in little pieces and they never come out. So this stuff will stay in there for years, like, you know, decades. Uh, it might kind of turn yellow after a while or something. But um, it'll last indefinitely, um, but it, it's not a mess. It'll come right out. So you go to the uh, hardware store, you get weather stripping. Um, how wide is this stuff? Um, I like to use this stuff right here. It's about one inch. So I would say three quarters of an inch to one inch will be fine. <clears throat> um, I like the one inch stuff because you could always just trim it down with the scissor. If you want to cut the stuff, you just uh, you know cut it while the backing is still on. There's some adhesive backing. All right, let's tighten up the hat. Uh, it's much easier to tighten up a hat that has a leather sweatband inside. Now you can do the ones that have ribbon sweatbands, but um, it's just a little tougher. The leather is um, it's thicker, so it's just not as lumpy and stuff. You don't feel it. Now we're going to go behind the head, um, kind of like in a horseshoe motion. Right uh, behind the head, let's say, you know, there's the back of the hat. We're going to kind of put a piece right there in the back and then two bits on each end so that it wraps around the back of the hat like a horseshoe, big piece in the middle, little ones on the end. Now how much you need to tighten the hat depends on how much you know you need. Uh, every situation is different. I like to start with a piece like, uh, I don't know how, how long this is, uh, uh, I don't know, four to five, four to six inches long, maybe four inches is good to start with. Um, there, there are two places you could put it. You could put it right over here on the actual leather, behind the head, remember, back. Put it on the actual leather, or you could put it right here on the lining, or right against the felt, depending on what's there, the lining or the lining. Um, it's probably cooler to not put it on the leather, but again, you know, it doesn't really matter what I'm going to do is just, yeah, put it right here, half on the lining and half on the felt. Okay, there's one piece. And then what I like to do is take two shorter pieces. I'm going to just cut this in half. Boom. Um, take a short piece and put it on each end. Okay, you can look inside there. There's the piece. So I'm going to go very, very close to the leather. I don't want it peeking out. I don't want to see this stuff. It should be under the leather and totally hidden. All right. Now around the other side. All right. Pull the leather back down. Now it might look slightly lumpy until you wear it a few times. You know, after you wear this hat a few times, it'll just pack down or compress. Um, I've got a piece inside my green hat that I wear in most of these videos. I was a little between a 60 and a 61. So yeah, if you put this on, it'll be tighter. Um, you know, you gotta try it on. If it's too tight, you take those end pieces off and you just go with the middle piece, okay? So let's say I overdid it and I overshot the mark a little bit I want to remove some foam. Take the piece out. See, so it comes out nice and neatly. But again, if you don't touch this stuff and you just ignore it, it'll stay in there for like decades, you know, with lots of wear. So 
it just doesn't deteriorate like you know some people use newspaper or tissues or, or whatever. Um, the only stuff that's not really going to ever deteriorate is duct tape. The duct tape is really waterproof and stuff. That'll last like you know forever. Um, it's it's a little heavier and it's harder. If you use a lot, it becomes very hard, very heavy, and it's also messier. But it does last pretty much indefinitely. Duct tape. Um, it's a little tougher to use as far as technique because you have to when you do duct tape. You have to put it right in the crack, half on the leather and half on the felt. So you, you're going right over the crack. Then you fold it over when, and the tape doubles and becomes twice. But I prefer not to use duct tape these days. I use this uh, foam rubber uh, weather stripping.